Okay, now we're working on the uh, the RAM cooler from OTC, uh, the OCZ uh, RAM cooler. Someone had a question on it. And basically, the way I got it to be green and flashing, because normally it comes uh, blue and doesn't flash, which is kind of real, you know, pansy ass in my opinion because you know how many people have blue I mean everyone has blue and everyone has red how many people have green not many how many people have green uh, flashing even fewer anyways here it is um, they're asking once uh, on the connections on how does it connect to the RAM well the way it is is if you notice uh, these are the ones that are in cube Okay, they allow you to have a little bit of freedom to be able to have it move back and forth between your RAM bank a little bit because your 20 or 24 pin connector, depending on your motherboard, uh, sometimes will have the connection right near your uh, RAM. And so therefore what happens is you don't have much space between putting in this, un these, uh, this RAM cooler or many RAM coolers um, because the, the the connection for the uh, onto the board is very limited, so it comes with two sets. One set, which basically allows you to be able to um, center the unit real nicely right onto the uh, you know above the RAM, so it go on like this. Okay, and then the uh, the cooler would be right in between it. But when you have these guys, you know, in the center, it locks it in so you don't have any play if you need to move over just a little bit to get away from the 20 or 24 pin connector. You don't have much play. So therefore, these guys produced and gave you an extra set that you can actually use to do that. Also, um, they give you a set of screws. There they are. And... Um, what do you call it? Uh, basically, the screws, they're kind of nice. They work. Um, then you have another set of smaller ones, which are flush, which are in case if space is a premium like it is on Cube. These are the guys I use. They're the smaller ones. I don't use the knobs because, you know, there's not much room. <laughs> so, basically, that's the hold down for it. Okay. Now on to the cooler. This guy here... The string. Gotta put this down. Need both hands. Uh, sorry about the focus. Oh man. I'm ripping stuff before it's even ready to be built. Oh, oh there you go. You know. No return on this one, I guess. Alright. You know, they make these things childproof, but how many kids are going to be building these suckers? All right, here we go. It has on the inside of it two fans, and it has um, four little blue LEDs, okay, that are in it. One, two, three, four. What you do is you then take um, shrink tube, that's probably about the right size if you want you're not going to break these off because you don't want to lose, you know, have any kind of power problems. Take the um, shrink tube, put it over it because it comes in different sizes, put it over the thing, and then just shrink, black shrink tube over it nicely. Um, mind you, you're going to have to take the fans out of this to build it, which they're held in with um, one screw, one screw here, one screw, and one screw here. Four screws for the two fans, and then you have to, like, you know, kind of basically move them back and forth and tilt them out to get them out of here. So they're they're really nicely machined and put in. Okay. Um, here's the power cord. Voila. That's the space you'll use. Helps move this guy over, which then allows you to move this guy over to tilt him up out, and then you can tilt this one up and out that way. But anyways, here's what it looks like. And once again, going to get power from Cube, fire it from him. And if you notice, there we go. And 
Hit on. There we go. Blue. Ew. That's all I got to say. Blue is ew. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice color of the rainbow. I love it in my flag. I love it in my pies, blueberries, but in my cases, computers, I really don't like. I mean, it's a pretty, you know, nice and bright. It's nice and beautiful, you know, for blue, but just doesn't work for me. Okay. This is where the modding comes into play. Uh, it's going to be more instructional than actually showing. But once you have it out, these fans that are in here are not that big. They're not that thick. They're, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch. They're, they're, there's not much room for these uh, suckers. Okay. So, um, in a sense, you're going to need to use 3 millimeter uh, LEDs. There's enough room. I got one little one here. Okay. You have enough room to be able to stick it into the corners that are right next to the screws that are on each side. You hot glue it in once you have it wired. Okay. So and it becomes nice and flush and it works. You're just going to have to make sure the wires themselves are nice and flush around everything, which you will have enough room on this edge, if you notice right here, to use for the wires because if you notice you have enough room okay, to be able to go in between the wall and the fan. So once you have each fan having four little LEDs of it, you're going to have all these wires, um, have them come off and come out through one of these two sides of the thing over by the power because they'll just keep it nice and nifty, you know, nice and clean looking. And then you're going to just zip tie it all together or if you want to put it inside black sleeves and then zip tie and, you know, do whatever to clean it up that way. Um, but anyways, um, the way it works, if you notice in its video for the RAM cooler, it uh, flashes um, quite, quite a bit, you know, quite fast. It oscillates between them and basically it's two channels. And the reason it's a two channel is because we're using 